Yeah, yeah, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Lockout Men Podcast Show, the MTC edition. That's what's up. I am glad that you guys are here for another one. But before we get started, I want you guys to stop and hit that like button. Let uh, That like button is free. It's free to hit. If I get 25 views, I want at least 13, at least 13 likes from you guys. Come on now, help a brother out. But today, we're going to get right into it. Uh, this video, this call was suggested. All right. This call was suggested by Colonel oh man, I, Fox, Pox. I'm just going to call you Colonel P, my G. Colonel P in the building. Thank you, brother man, for suggesting this call. Uh, thank you for joining the channel. I really appreciate that. Uh, he says, still waiting on you to call Great Plains Transport. They're, they're waiting on your call, too. All right. So that's what we're going to get on the phone today. We're going to get Great Plains Transport, a call, a transportation company that's located out of North Dakota. North Dakota, man, up in the coldness, you know what I'm saying? They offer a base salary starting at sixty-five thousand dollars, which is, which is probably the base pay that's, you know, for incoming drivers, you know, across the board. Bonuses up to $8,000 a month. They offer new equipment as far as Peterbilt's. Uh, I think they got Peterbilt's. I don't know, but we're going to find out what kind of equipment that they got because they said it's new. Uh, they do have a pet and rider policy. They do have holiday vacation pay. They also have medical, dental, and life insurance. 401k will company match and so much more. They also have benefits uh, for owner operators. The owner operators command 75% of the revenue to the truck, 100% sur fuel, I mean fuel surcharge, fleet fuel discount on 15, 15 through 50%. I mean, 50, 50, cent a gal 50 cent per gallon. They got new trailers. They got pre-plans, dispatch, so they can keep you moving. Uh, 1,300 mile average trip length. And one dollar, and I mean, one, one dollar. 1 1.23 average to the truck plus fuel, I mean, plus fuel surcharge. What they got for the for the company driver well for the company driver they got uh, of course they got the base salary that starts at 65,000 uh, Kenworth and Freightliners so I guess they don't have no peeps huh uh, riders allow no charge pets allow but they don't want you to have no cats I got a cat man what why I can't have a cat come on uh, of course, paid vacation, medical, dental, and life insurance. 401k will company match. They are a OTR company with, I mean, they are an OTR company. All drivers are out three weeks and then home for three days off. We pay home time as well. See what Great Plains Transport stacks up to be. Well, we about to find out as we get into this call. Great Plains, this is Mayor. Uh, good morning. How you doing? Uh, I'm trying uh, to get a hold of recruiting. Who? Recruiting. Your recruiting department. Oh, yeah. Let me get you over to Coy. One moment, please. Hello. Oh, hello. 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 Hey, yeah. how's how's oh, it, how's it going? You, you kind of muffled in and out. That's why I'm. That's why I didn't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. 
I'm doing all right. I'm I'm still finding it hard to hear you. Let me see if I make sure I got my bars up. Yeah, I got I got I got my 5G bars working. Um, maybe maybe you're in. <laughs> Yeah, I'm 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 finding it real hard to hear you. Hear me now? Uh a little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Still yep. still not still not great, but a little bit. Maybe if okay. I may, may, maybe and maybe if I hang up and call you back again, see if that'll work. That better? Oh, that's much, much, much better. There we go. There we go. Good deal. Good deal. All right. All right. Well, thank you. Uh, thank you for uh, calling me back. I, um, I actually, uh, you know, got a got a request to give you guys a call to find out uh, to find out what you guys could offer uh, uh, offer okay. us drivers. Um, I went on a website, a pretty good website. Uh, it pretty much, uh, pretty much give me a, you know, give me a, a, a eyeball of, of what you guys are offering. So I, I thought I'd mm -hmm. just give you a call today to, uh, sure. you know, to, you know, it says if you got questions, you know, give, give you guys a call. So you mind if I, you mind if I pick your ear for a little bit? No, go, go right ahead. All right. Well, of course, you know, my name is Sean. Uh, I'm a six, mm -hmm. I'm a six year driver out here. Um, so can you give me a, a, a brief background? Because it's a lot of trucking companies out here that I'm not familiar with and Great Plains is okay. one of them. Uh, well, Great Plains is owned by Bob Holland. He started a company back in the late seventies. We're an over the road trucking company, uh, refrigerated Holland mainly food product. We service 48 states, except for New York City, and we don't do a tremendous a lot in the Northeast. Now, oh, where, where do you live at? I stay up in Ohio, and I'm not a fan of the Northeast. <laughs> okay. I got you. I got you. Well, Ohio's not is, is a good area for us, uh, and uh, we what we do, we pay our drivers a salary okay. of 1250 Twelve hundred fifty dollars per week. Uh, that that should go up to thirteen hundred after ninety days. Uh, we also pay a monthly mileage bonus, starting out of eleven thousand miles for the month. You'll get three hundred dollars. Twelve thousand miles, five hundred dollars. Thirteen thousand miles, eight hundred dollars. Fourteen thousand miles, you get thirteen hundred dollars. All right. So you mind if I stop uh, you? Stop you right there? Yeah. Um. Yeah, go ahead. All right, so you mentioned that this is a uh, this is salary based, but is it possible that we can get paid uh, cent per mile if we want that option? And if so, how much cent per mile uh, that you guys pay if that option is available? I would, you're probably looking at forty nine cents per mile. All right, so that's now is is that option available to get paid cent per mile instead of getting paid salary because some drivers. Uh, say that you know you, we we get paid more cent per mile than we do the salary, and they like to go that route. Yeah, uh, I could probably get that arranged. I'd have to get with uh, Tyler Holland. He uh, oversees or uh, 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 he work oversees, but he's mainly the office manager. But he does a lot more than that. Uh, I could get with him about that. Now let me. But we have oh, go we ahead. have offered the drivers, you know. We have had both, you know, and most of the drivers over the years have picked the salary. And the reason is, especially in the winter time, when you hit, like we just had that terrible, terrible ice storm, it hit the Midwest and it shut everything down for like four days. Yeah, yeah, Fire. yeah. Uh, and also that, on, that, that stuff that yeah. happened down in uh, Texas as well. Yeah, Texas, Arkansas, all the way up. So our drivers got paid their salary every Friday morning, just like, you know, and also in your home time, you get, you still get your salary. Now, you don't be, stop. being that you guys pay salary, do you guys pay, uh, you, you did mention the bonus. 
but do you guys right. also pay uh uh other, do you guys pay like detention pay layover pay i'm i'm going to no i'm going to assume yeah. no because of the fact that y'all pay Pretty salary much. right yeah it, that's another reason we do salary is because you don't have to worry so much about the uh layovers and you know whatnot is fact that uh and, and also detention uh if I, if I, I, don't, I can't say we don't ever, but that's the general purpose of the salaries. You know, it takes I, a lot of. I I kind of I kind of notice as I'm doing my research, uh, that, mm -hmm. you know, not only you guys but a lot of other companies is going the way of salaries too. Mm hmm. So. Well, it. I remember coming into the market a few couple of years or so ago, where people, oh, they were some of the trucking companies. Just, and I think the purpose of it is this is a simple fact they were losing drivers because the fluctuating pay I mean if you if you pay your power bill and you don't you have a bad week and you get what what I've always heard drivers say half a check right well they don't care if the power company how many miles you run you know you yeah, owe $150 yeah, power bill looking, that's right they're still looking for that bill <laughs> so if you're on salary, you know what you're going to get. You know how to budget. You know uh, whether you can afford to go buy this brand new Mustang or not. And if you drive by the mile, you don't know. You really don't know. Uh, freight could be down. Mm -hmm. And if freight's down and you're not getting your runs like you normally get, especially in the in the beginning, uh, like uh, end of December, first early first quarter, when freight kind of drops for whatever reason, you know, you still gonna get your salary. You don't have to worry about it. Yeah, but twelve fifty yeah. is kind of. Well, let me ask you this: Is it? Mm -hmm. Let me ask you this: Is that is that twelve fifty straight across? No matter how many years of experience you got, or do, or do we get a, mm -hmm. or do we get a bump in pay for for the experienced driver? No, nah, it's the same. It's. You have twelve. Just you have to have twelve months experience. Okay, so for it's, a driver, it, it's a same. So for a driver mm -hmm. like myself that got six years, or a driver that's mm -hmm. coming in with ten years or more, it's still twelve fifty to mm -hmm. to to start yeah. in thirteen in thirteen hundred after what ninety days. Ninety, 90 days, yeah. Man, man, that is well. I mean. It, it, it works it, it may work for you know for a few people probably not all especially from a person that's coming in from you know making you know maybe about 15 to 18 to come in at 13 but i mm -hmm. mean for i mean you for new drivers y'all y'all take drivers out of school right or how many how, no. many, how many years i mean well, how many years that they need well, to come on? oh they need a year Yep. Well, that still ain't that's that's still not bad either because you know a mm -hmm. a, a driver that's probably coming out of school and going to a uh, going to a starter company that's making less and then they get with you that that would probably be a mm -hmm. that would probably be a good bet. All right. So coming into orientation, um, mm -hmm. how, you know I know COVID changed everything for for the trucking world as far as orientation goes so um do what, what's my orientation now is it videos at home uh do i still come out to the terminal to do my orientation what 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 is what is it for orientation now well mo most of the paperwork you'll do from home uh i'll we kind of send out a uh uh it's uh we call it the approval letter but it's actually got all the sequences of videos to watch safety videos right. uh you know all, all your information uh you'll be uploading and then when you actually get to orientation all that's pretty much behind you and then it's you know then it's you're meeting the uh department uh you know the people you're actually working with um and uh you're going and they're going to go over they're going to go over their spill uh 
for those two days and your road test uh and uh, so and we do pay a hundred dollars per day for for orientation it's tuesday wednesday every week and then uh you're ready to hit the road thursday morning okay. on your first load and uh on the last day of orientation on wednesday we will give you 50 dollars credit for groceries you go online pick what you want and they'll deliver it to the yard and put it right in your truck so all of our okay. trucks are late model okay. uh, they all come refrigerators apus and uh, inverters so you just take your groceries and load it up all right so but we we try to yeah go ahead so orientation uh you said it's a hundred dollars a day it's a two-day orientation how would you guys get me up there we rent you a car to fly you okay 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 um hold on right quick okay. most of the drivers had rather rent a car all right for yeah. us we'll rent them a car yeah i that's <laughs> Yeah, that's that's what I uh, that's what I do. You know, the Greyhound and all that other good stuff. No, 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 yeah. no, no. Um, so when I come up there, uh, when I come up there, what what type of hotel do you guys use as far as uh, orientation goes? Well, we we use the Holiday Inn there in Fargo. All right, and I, I won't be put in a room with another driver, would I? No. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. Um, I one one other. This is an offset question, so um, I'm not sure if you guys do it or not. But some companies do it that I have talked to already. Um, but do you guys uh, offer pay for reimbursement for paid parking at a truck stop? Uh, normally, I don't think we do. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that yeah. was you know that was another question because I I felt like the last company that I drove for you know we we had to pay for parking but we never mm -hmm. got reimbursed for it you know it was you know it was kind of eh, I guess <laughs> well, uh, we we primarily use Love's truck stops so they charge you if well, you buy fuel and whatnot well you know what no Love's don't charge for parking I mean for parking. Believe it or not, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the Petros, the Flying J's, uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, what I mentioned, Flying J's, Petro, and Pilots, they, you know, they got reserved parking that, you know, drivers pay for. Um, mm -hmm. And I, it's pretty much, it's pretty much out of their pocket unless, you know, the company will reimburse them, I guess. But that was a question mm -hmm. that I added in my repertoire of questions that I asked now. Um, what about, uh, what, now I know about the terminal, the main terminal is up in North Dakota, right? But do you guys have other, other terminals or drop lots? Uh, no, we don't. Uh, that's the only terminal we have because the drivers mainly what they do, they take the trucks home. Okay. So we don't have any other terminals. All right. All right. Um, now you, we already was talking about the about the orientation and how we get up there and all that other good stuff. Uh, what about pre-employment screening though? Uh, is it hair follicles or urine? Urine. Urine. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, so you said that that as far as pay goes, I can, I I, I can get sent per mile if I want it. But you said, but you said it's best to go salary right yeah it is best and i'd have to get that approved on the cent per mile mm -hmm. uh but uh, uh but yeah uh, if if it was me i would definitely take the salary okay i i yeah i mean i the company i was with before i i talked to them about trying going salary driver and they said no mm -hmm. if we don't get paid they don't get paid exactly. and uh and salary takes to me takes a lot of that out of the equation that, that you're like you're going to get those short checks because it you know it could be beyond anybody's control on how many miles you get okay. you know whether you get, you get sick or if if uh, like whether a driver with COVID had to sit for two weeks yeah. in a truck stop in Texas 
isolated. Yeah, I, I came down so, with COVID. Uh, I came down with COVID about a couple of months ago, and I was I was out of commission for about uh, for about a couple of months. Well, about a month actually. I was in the hospital for I was in the hospital for like three weeks, and then I was at home for oh. about another two. So yeah, it was wow. it was hard it was hard for me. Luckily, I was still able to get paid. You know, by way of the COVID thing, but but yeah, I see what right. you're ta- I see what you're talking about. You know, as a person that's being on salary, you know, they they will mm-hmm. still get paid regardless. Versus the person that's on CPM and not getting paid. Yeah. Okay. So these are these are a lot more benefits, I think, the salary versus the mileage, but. I mean, every driver is different. They have to make their own decision. What they, how they feel, they can make the most money. I, I know. I, I truly understand it. All right, benefit package. Uh, of course, it, what, what are you guys the same as everybody? Blue Cross or Blue Shield, or what's 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 your benefit package? Yeah, Blue Cross Blue Shield. Okay. Thirty-three dollars so a week per uh, for each driver. Okay, so that pretty okay. much. Uh, that's pretty much uh, uh, dental, health, uh, vision, yeah. all that good stuff. Okay, 401k company match. You know, I've seen that on your on your website. That's, yes. that's pretty much self-explanatory. Um, yeah. Uh, what about what what about t- are are you guys strictly W two or do you guys offer 1099 as well? W two. Oh, okay. And you guys are reefer based, so uh, a That's lot, right. a lot of uh, a lot of sitting. One of one of them will be Walmart. <laughs> oh my god! Good day, yeah. Oh my god! Yeah. Walmart. Oh, oh. oh such a, <laughs> such such the pain for for delivery and pickup at Walmart. Boy, oh boy. Uh, what's your dropping hook percentage? Oh, it's uh, we don't do a lot of drop and hook because it's almost we we don't have many more trailers than we got trucks. So it's a lot of the truck you leave the yard trailer you leave the yard with is probably the trailer you're gonna be with for a while. So okay, okay. Um, home time, uh, as I seen on the website, is that pretty much accurate? You you guys want us to be out for about three weeks and we get home about three days. Yeah, three weeks out, three days at home. You can bank your home time up to 14 days. I stand out 14 weeks. Okay, okay. So, and you and you get paid your salary just like you're running. Oh, okay, okay. So we're so you OTR. So you don't have no other options like regional uh, or anything like that. No, just, just straight OTR. Yes, that's correct. And you said we can't take the trucks home. Uh, the equipment, yeah, you, hmm? the equipment you guys offer is uh, Freightliners and and T six eighties, pretty much. Yeah, Cascadia and T six eighties. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Um, as far as my home time, and you did mention something about taking the truck home. Um, let me ask you this, because this. This is beginning to be apparent with me. Now, I have a secure parking lot for the trailer. Is it possible that I can disconnect from my trailer and bobtail home? Yeah, you'd have to get that permission from operations. I don't think they like uh, like to do that. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, don't, I don't think most trucking companies like doing that. They want them tethered uh, uh, because it's so easy to get stolen. Right, right. Uh, what about you? You know anything about personal conveyance, uh, it, whether or not we can use it or not? I'm not quite sure on that. How that quite works in there? I'm sure. Uh, I'll just be honest with you on personal conveyance. I know it, it's kind of weird if you're he, you can't be heading in the direction of your load exactly. or delivers. Exactly. So it that's kind of a kind of a weird kind of slippery slope with that. All right. Uh, other other than uh, other than the refrigerators and all that good stuff that's in the truck, what other amenities is in there? Do we got an APU? Do we got inverters? Yeah. 
You got 50 hundred water inverters, APUs, and a refrigerator. Okay. What about what, what about a dash cam? Uh, 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 a driver cam. Yeah. We do. We have the we have a driver facing out. I mean, we have a, a face one facing out and a dri- driver uh, facing driver cam. Um, but uh, we do. But we, of course, we're not spying on our drivers. Uh, and <laughs> I hope and if not. they want, yeah, if they want, if if they're off duty, they can put a towel over the camera. We don't care. As long as, as long as the truck's sitting and you're off duty, it don't bother us. Put a towel over. Awesome. What about uh what what about the computer for the truck as far as uh as far as ELD? Uh, Qualcomm, yeah. Samsung, what, what what do you guys have? Qualcomm. Okay. Will we be will we be getting our will we be getting our dispatches through the Qualcomm as well? Oh yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. and and you also got uh, uh, you can also download the McLeod app on your phone. Oh, okay, awesome, awesome. What about drivers with felonies, man? Uh, you know, I got a buddy that just graduated out of out of Tri C Trucking Academy, um, mm-hmm. but he got a you know spotty background as far as being a, being a felon. Do you guys give give them a opportunity? Uh, well, yeah. I mean, I've hired people that uh, it's had you know shady backgrounds i i just look at it and see uh uh i just kind of you just have to look and make you know case make a case. make a judgment call yeah it's case by case but yeah i don't because they have a felony i don't that's no reason to not hire someone okay awesome awesome uh are all your loads force dispatched well i don't know what you mean force dispatch because I think all trucking companies are going to have to take care of their accounts if if the drivers want to have a job. And there's going to be times that you know you're going to have to take a load you may not want. If you put on the on terrible loads all the time, then there's a question of wonder. But uh, I don't care who you are. If you haul, if you got some good uh, good account and uh, and there's a load that pops up that got to get you to cover, and you're the only one there that can do it. And I'm uh, the only one that's going to have to do it if I want to keep my job. <laughs> I mean, it behooves all of us. There's a lot of things we don't want to do, and right. we have to do. But I'm not saying it, it shouldn't endanger you, you know, as far as, you know, asking you to run the illegal hours or anything. That We're not going to do that. But... You may, maybe, we got some drivers going around California. Well, guess what? We got a load, we got to get to California. And uh, and I just talked to a driver yesterday, matter of fact. And uh, and I told him when he came home. That's what we tell the drivers. We run 48 states except New York City. And I don't know what, at that point, it's called force dispatch. I mean, I don't even know what, I don't even know, understand the term force dispatch. <laughs> It just, it floats. It, I've been in trucking 40 years, and I've still not understood what is forced dispatch. If if a driver comes to work for you, and they they know you're going to pull the refrigerator freight, and they know what areas you run, and they agree to that, and it, does that even make sense to you? What that, what does that even mean to you? That makes plenty of sense. That That definitely makes plenty of sense. You know, that, that's me. I mean, I, I agree to come to work for some, you know, for this company, and you know, and sometimes I have to work after five, mm-hmm. and that's just the way it is. I get drivers calls from drivers at night, and that's okay because I know what the recruiting is all about. If you don't take care of your drivers, if you don't work with them, mm-hmm. they're going to quit or they're not going to come because they don't even have the audacity to even talk to them. So that it, it, to me, it's any business we're all in, and we're all we're all there to make a living. We're all there to make sure the company succeeds. And you know, like I said, if they ask you to do something illegal, then hey, that's 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 not right. That's not good. Exactly. So, exactly. 
you know, well, thank, anyway. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. A lot, oh. of, a lot of guys, you know, like I said, I, I ask that question all the time. And, uh, you know, a lot of a lot of drivers I talk to, you know, a lot of a lot of drivers. I